This is May the 6th, Saturday, May the 6th, 2023, and uh, it's Kentucky Derby Day. But rather than watch the Kentucky Derby, I have chosen to watch CNBC and their broadcast of Berkshire Hathaway's annual meeting in which it started with uh, Warren Buffett going over statement for the first quarter of 2023, and they had a magnificent first quarter. But what I've learned is I want more of Berkshire Hathaway, and I'll explain to you why I feel that way in this video, and hopefully you can get a takeaway that is comparable to mine. So let's get into it. It's not financial advice. It's just my financial observations. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. What I've learned this morning is how well Berkshire Hathaway is managed and how I have a list of 30-some stocks that Berkshire holds, but that is not really what Berkshire Hathaway is about. Someone brought up the point that they own somewhere in the neighborhood of, in their portfolio, Apple represented 30% of their portfolio, and Warren pointed out that that's just not true. It may represent 30% or 35% of the stocks that they hold, but Berkshire owns outright some 60 other companies, including railroads, and as it, Warren goes into great length explaining, insurance companies. And if you ever have the opportunity, if you, if you have a, a way to get the, a rerun of this first uh, morning session, and he explains to you how insurance works and how Berkshire's insurance insurance companies um, run so much more efficiently than anyone else's because of their ability to manage risk against premium. They have a higher markup, and then he explains to you what float is all about, how you they take in you and I's money on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, and they hold that money until you have an accident. If you never have an accident, they don't make a payment before their property property and casualty insurance, and that, as far as that goes, uh, your automobile insurance. So in essence, they then use that float to invest, and it has no cost attached to it. So with that in mind, I have decided I want up to 50% of my portfolio invested in Berkshire Hathaway. Now, I'm going to do that two different ways. Number one, I'm going to increase my holdings of Berkshire's B shares, but also I'm going to invest directly in some of the companies that he invests in, such as Occidental Petroleum, such as Apple. He holds some Amazon. He holds some Paramount, which I have. I hope they address uh, later this afternoon in the meeting. But I want to get my portfolio up up to where 50% of my holdings are the same or are Berkshire Hathaway's uh, holdings. And again, I want you to understand the that that he owns about 35 individual stocks, but he owns 60 other companies that generate money. They made this statement in the interview uh, in, in Japan several weeks ago that they have something in the neighborhood of $100 million coming in every working day from the profits that are made from their 60 wholly owned companies that then they have to take and and invest somewhere else. This is the growth engine. This is the money machine that Warren and Charlie have, have built. I, I, I encourage you, if you can find a rerun and sit down for probably six hours and hear what Warren, Charlie, and their two successors are saying, uh, you will have an understanding of business unlike you have ever had. It's worth your time. It was worth my time. And as a result of that, I am going to get to my portfolio up to 50% in either Berkshire Hathaway B shares or the same stocks that, um, Ch that Charlie and Warren are investing in. I don't think you can get any better 
financial advice anywhere than what Warren and his staff will share with you in their stockholders presentation. These two guys, these four guys, are geniuses. They understand the investment world unlike anyone else, and they are not influenced by Wall Street. So make a point to find the rerun of CNBC's broadcast of the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting, and you'll come away, I believe, the same as I, that I want 50% of my portfolio where Warren and Charlie are putting their money. Okay, I got to get back to the second half. Uh, I'll probably try to squeeze the Kentucky Derby in uh, sometime later this afternoon, but this is too, this is too important to miss. (music) 